Like so many Mainers, Peter Weed's family roots go back centuries. Postcard gives us a glimpse of the layers of relationships such a legacy brings, and the fact that the battles people fight on their own every day can be as fierce as the ones that history books tell. My father's island is granite. Yellow and brown shingled houses cling to stone above Stonington Harbor. He went to westerns at the movie hall, where ten-foot-high letters spell out opera house on the seaward side. He set pens in the bowling alley. He did this amidst the stench of his father's molding beer bottles, oiled shotguns, nicotine-stained breath, and bastard brothers who walked throughout the islands. I know only one bastard by name, Merton. He lived on Tar Paper Avenue, a landscape of bottles, rotting tires, and rusting Buicks. A photograph of my grandfather and his settlement quarry crew rests above the meat display at Bartlett's Market. Invisible, the gray dust that ate lungs settled on their shoulders. He is smiling. They stand upon the granite of Kennedy's grave, the federal court building, and innumerable monuments polished to brilliant adamantine finishes. My grandfather's gravestone isn't dear Isle granite. Aunt Irene fucked up and bought his stone in Rockland, so the legitimate children bickered and whispered before the casket. We brought flowers every Memorial Day. In each year, my father pointed to depressions in the earth where inferior coffins had collapsed, mingling rocky soil and bone. 